Okay, there's five minutes left in the second batch of uh, ornaments for North Star Roller Derby. Here's the design I've settled on for the girls. So there's the first batch right there. The rest, it uh, takes a few hours to do them because I'm doing a 3D engrave, which I think you can kind of get the feel of it. If I go like that, you can see it's got a lot of texture. So it takes a little longer. But it's almost done engraving, which it's been doing forever. But the fun part's about to happen where it cuts. The cut doesn't take anywhere near as long as the rest of it. But, uh, so this is been running one thing that's nice about working at home is you can just turn this thing on and come back later and uh, having that bent outside sure is nice but yeah so it's almost done etching this batch and it will start cutting out the holes and cutting out the patterns I have more acrylic coming uh, it's a very inexpensive material to work with you know with a real high quality cast sheet being very very inexpensive and oh it's gonna start in this bottom corner here you can see it cutting around and then you get a flash every time it hits one of the black lines on the crumb tray so okay one's been cut out so I just cut out another hole and those just drop clean out beautifully so here it is cutting out another shape so in three minutes, it'll be done cutting all uh, all six, or no, not six, I'm sorry, three sets. So there's 12 ornaments here. But the total that I got off the sheet, because my first test patch, eh, I didn't have them sized the way I wanted them, and I didn't do the script the way I thought I was going to do some kind of ghost background thing, and it didn't work. Well, you, you can read it, but here, let's get... But it just didn't didn't come out the way I wanted it to, trying to highlight it. So we lost a little material, so we're out a dollar. It's not the end of the world. I was gonna have to order more material anyway. I've looked locally and eh, I don't see what I'm looking for. I really want a cast, not an extruded material. And it looks like a sheet like this will be about nine dollars on average in cast for you know somewhere in the 120 to 125 mil. Or some people, you know, go with 3 millimeter, which is 118 mils. Uh, pretty similar. But I definitely wanted it paper-faced and not, uh, not plastic, like most of your plexiglass at the, at the hardware store is going to have. But you can see, that just, uh, the cutting is so quick. It's the etching that takes forever. But having that engraved in there... Even with the paper still on it, you can see just what a beautiful job that does with these logos. And then once, uh, once you've peeled the paper off, you know, they really come out pretty nice. You can kind of see how nice and deep that's in there. And then I have found the easiest way on the acrylic is you peel off the big pieces and then soak it in a little cup full of soapy water for about 10 minutes and come back and everything that's left flakes off with your thumb. So, not a big deal there. Yeah, oh boy, I got close there. I made it, but man, I almost lost that one. So, we're learning how to use the machine. But it's gotta cut out four more since we've been talking on here and that's been about three minutes. So, a couple minutes. I'll pull them out, peel off the big stickers, chuck them in their water, and I'll come back later and finish peeling them. Um, not going to cut any more tonight. I've only got little bits of material, and I think I'd rather wait for full sheets in a day or two. But yeah, that's uh, the Glowforge cutting. I've cut a lot of things this uh, last two weeks. Um, and then we stumbled across, it, this being the right time of year, this... Uh, using the acrylic for Christmas ornaments and we've done all kinds of fun ornaments um, various angels in wood angels in acrylic Christmas trees people's names kids names it's pretty neat it's uh the kitschy kind of stuff that uh, you would never want to go to the store and try to pay one of them places but if you're doing it for your buddies this is fun so yeah so far it's pretty cool I've only had the software crash a couple times 
and I really hope that they're gonna work on the in-screen editor there's a, there's a lot to be desired on on how you can handle artwork in the editor and I know that they're working on the software but yeah there's a a little bit to be done there it's a very difficult to get things lined up the way you think they are but uh, there it's done okay the fans off so we can open it and then what I usually do anymore is I'll just take a little piece of tape and grab one you'll notice the dot stayed there you go that is fresh off the laser so yeah I just pick those up and as soon as I get them free of the matrix pull them out and doing it that way because I try to do it in only a couple hours at a time batch you know that way you can do a little bit and a little bit and a little bit without moving the the frame since this is all I'm cutting out of this one I get probably easiest just to pick the pick the leftovers off and set them on the pile here so yeah that's uh, another video on the Glowforge I had a buddy ask for for a little more demonstration of how this thing goes so there you go that's more on the Glowforge